Dr. Ashley? Mm. Pamela? Mm -hmm. You look great. <laughs> Especially for a dead woman. Hello, Jason. My first thought was, well, can we get Uma for tests? Well, I believe Uma was on a different film at the time and couldn't get in. So I did a lot of tests on another young lady to see all these different looks. And by the time Uma got there, I showed Uma some photographs of some of these test makeups that I had done. She goes, oh my God, I've never worn that much makeup. I don't know that I can wear that much makeup. And I said, you know, it'll be fine. It's going to be a gradual transformation. And she was allowed to transform little by little. And kind of a funny thing happened at the very end when she's floating on that water thing. She had so much makeup on and was so done up for this final transformation. We were sitting in the makeup trailer and she looks at me, she goes, do you think it's enough? Is it far enough to go? And I, I had to like step back for a minute and have a little giggle to myself. <laughs> I started with Pamela and I got so happy with Pamela because Pamela is just really kind of like, you know, wears thick, thick glasses and is completely unkempt and unruly and unaware of herself. And I got so used to that that oh, I hate having to go to this glam puss kind of, you know, dragon lady poison ivy. I'm enjoying this so much. Let's redecorate. And then once we got into that and I started to really find that character, I enjoyed that much more. So it was both. Longer and more orange. Yolanda Tusing was our hairstylist on the film, and Yolanda had Uma's wigs made by Peter Owen in London. Because of the nature of their color, we did, really didn't want them to be cartoony. I mean, I know it's supposed to be like a, a, a comic book, but we wanted it to, be a, it to be as realistic as possible, and Peter did an awesome job making his wigs. Enough monkey business. We've got work to do. Monkey work. The character Bane was designed by